Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Ragu. Today we're going to show you what our stay in Cimarron Canyon State Park in New Mexico was like. As we pulled into the campsite, there was a line of cars and we thought that we were going to strike out. Fortunately, the camp host told us that there was one spot left that he felt like we could squeeze in. And certainly with all the driving we had done that day, uh, we were happy to find out if we fit. Don't get it close to the uh, coffee table, okay? I mean to the barbecue. Color. Color. Dark beige. Adjective. Adjective. Oh, um, adjective. Salty. Put on that one. Put on that one. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Wood. What? Adjective. 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 Uh, well, we didn't need to repeat that three times. Adjective. Uh, I'm thinking hard. Um, sure, hardly. And sloth. Now it had been a while since we had slowed down enough to actually cook a hot cooked home meal. Uh, we used the Weber Q for a lot of our dinners. It's a gas barbecue grill by Weber. Uh, there are two sizes. There's a small one and a large one. I think the small is the Weber Q 1200 and we've got the Weber Q 2000. I might have my numbers wrong, but um, this one is a size that's appropriate for maybe a family of four. I got one. You got one? Yeah. What is it? Oh, I dropped them. You dropped them? Yep. There he is right there. I know I smelled wine. Yeah. In the same jacket? During Father's Day. I don't think it was Father's Day because that was up near Glacier. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't far from Glacier. There you are? No, sir. You go put him back where you got him from. But you can be damn sure if you pick your nose, I'm going to catch it. <laughs> I'm ready, Owen. It's going to be my clickbait when you pick your nose. Now this campground was really neat in that it had um, a pretty large lake right there in the campground. But this was a very popular weekend to be here because the DNR had released a, um, a whole bunch of trout into the lake. And there were fishermen everywhere and they were all catching really quality fish.
people on these trips are just phenomenal. The camp host is uh, its a husband and wife. She's from Italy and has the thick Italian accent. And it, they're both a lot of fun and uh, have been stopping to visit with us a good bit uh, with their dog, Abigail. don't travel with fishing poles. I'm not sure how licenses work from state to state, and uh, but that is definitely something we need to look into because I would have loved nothing more than for us to have our very own trout to put on that Weber Q barbecue. Come on! Sparkle thing they have in the commercials, like a sparkle slide. Yeah. I want you to do that with this. I have a humongous blotch of sap on my hand. But not anymore with Clorox. Now that I've sponsored Clorox, they're gonna want they might want us to add them as an advertisement. And we'll sponsored. get money. We might be sponsored by Clorox. That would be weird. People huh? laugh at me? <laughs> you need to wear what? this hat. Who Let's laughs wear at me? He's talk I think he's talking about... Mom, you're not wearing it right. Uh, Who laughs at me? Nobody. Everyone. You just said it. Everyone laughs at you. They do? Yes. What about? Especially at White Sands. <laughs> the way he was sliding down. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, you mean they laugh at my videos because I'm funny? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant they laugh about me, like making fun of me for doing it. Funny, more like stupid. Sure. Oh, oh he's stoned me. Oh, four stones now. Hey, hey, uh, 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 uh. So hey, it's good the... photography. No, not if it goes in the eyeball. <laughs> Dramatic effect. It's our first morning at Cimarron Canyon. Very nice, there's a fishing pond over there and um, of course you saw that in the video or you can see it in the video. We're running the generator for the first time on this trip. We, this will be our second night on battery without utilities and we think we're gonna be moving to a third night with uh, no utilities and maybe a whole string of them here. So I think the, the generator is gonna get a workout. 
over the next week or so. You just heard it ramp up. Cindy's in there doing her, uh, the hair dryer. Starting to recognize the difference between weekend campers and uh, traveling people or full timers. Of course, the campground was chaotic. We were lucky to get a spot. We got shifted this morning. We're in a second spot here so that we could stay a second night. But as we sat at the campsite last night, we had a family to the left of us that had about 50 people on one campsite. You know, anytime you get 50 people, even if they're being courteous, they are not, um, not going to be allowing for solitude in the woods. We had dogs barking. We had cars in and out. I don't even know where they're going because we're in the middle of the woods. Um, but the same cars were leaving several times um, throughout the, the evening. You know, people coming in and out and getting ready for the, getting set up in their campsites. And we had kids crying. In fact, while I was grilling dinner, a little uh, toddler, two, three years old, came. Uh, I saw a ball kicked into our campsite. No big deal. And so I just turned to look to see if someone was going to get the ball. And a little toddler comes running up. He runs right past the ball. And he runs through the backside of our site. Well, on the backside of our site is the busy highway. I jumped up and ran after him hollering. He didn't respond to my hollering. But I ended up catching up with him and stopping him maybe 20 feet before the highway. Um... Of course, mom came over and said thank you, and um, and that's awkward, isn't it? We enjoy the social aspect of camping and campgrounds. We're also after a little bit of the solitude or the idea of solitude, and it's kind of difficult to find the, a good balance between the two. I guess I guess what you do is you boondock when you feel like solitude and you come to a campground when you want the social aspect. Today's agenda is just relaxing. Um, the town of Cimarron is just about five or ten minutes down the road. There's a laundry down there. We plan to go get laundry done. We haven't done that in a while. We will um, cook another good meal. Last night we had our first like three course meal in a long time and it was nice to just sit down to pork chops and sweet potatoes and squash and um, it was nice to eat well. We haven't been eating well we haven't been eating unhealthy but we just haven't been having big meals or relaxing meals you know the, the sit down part of the meal we haven't really done Our stay here was exactly what the doctor had ordered. We had been through about two weeks of the heat of southern Texas and southern New Mexico. Um, we had been on the move day in and day out, and we had three nights here in beautiful Cimarron Canyon with cool temperatures, very comfortable, and boy was it nice to slow down, just pull out the hammocks, cook on the barbecue grill, and enjoy uh, camping.
find this one and put it as high up as I can go with this. Oh, it's not reachable. Uh, uh, let me see. As high up as it will go, so eh, that'll do. No, it won't. That'll cut it. What you want is this way. Turn it this way. That's where it should hook. Okay. All right, there. that's perfect. Oh man, that's high. Ooh. That's... Might be about right, huh? Oh, it is about right. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Take off them little nerd sandals. Shut up. Oh, that's real nice. You know, sometimes your trip changes personality. It'll go from uh, being a destination sort of a trip, travel from night to night and see things, uh, to a more of what I'm gonna call a camping trip. And our stay here was certainly a camping trip and we loved it for that reason. We needed it for that reason. And we met some wonderful people. Um, the camp hosts here, we have their email. We're gonna stay in touch. Hey, Cimarron Canyon, a visit if you're ever in northeastern-ish New Mexico. It is a real gem of a spot. Yeah. Well, we're back at the camper. There you go. Awesome. Remember to share us with any friends you have that may enjoy the, the topics and things that you see here on our channel. Uh, we'd love to have new friends on board, and we will see you next time.